Yo, what's going on, everybody? I know I'm going to be live time about 9.30 p.m. I'm going to try to get into the uh, HTA submission queue tonight. But probably most of you have already seen, heard, read SGC raise prices today. So they're falling in suit just like everybody else here. Now, I took some time uh, to read over this stuff, and, you know, there's a big, long message on to here. Talks about how they were understaffed and were getting 20 times the amount of cards. You know, the normal stuff that you would expect in something that's going to go on to anybody's new form or new um, uh, vision, vision statement. There we go. Oh, it's been a long day today, let me tell you. Alrighty here. So, you know, if you want to really read it, you can go through the whole thing. But some of the stuff that I looked at here, no choice but to raise our base right from 15 to $25 a card. It's 10 bucks a card. I mean, people were getting upset with PSA raising prices from, uh, what was it, 20 to $25 on Ultra Modern and 12 to 20 on uh, Modern. So I'm just curious now, for everybody that said they were going to leave PSA and go SGC, does this make a difference to you at all um, offhand? I don't grade with SGC anymore. Like I said, I had a bad experience with three different reps on there, and I'm done with them, washed my hands of it. I mean, I'll wait in line with other at HGA, Beckett, and uh, PSA right now, and just to see how well everything turns out. But if you come down into here somewhere, I read it. Where's the numbers at here? They were, oh, here it is. So they said that originally they were only putting out 200, 250 cards a day. The number increased to 1,200. Then they later on, after some key hires, 2,500. Now the goal became... 3,000. So it gives you an idea how much, you know, they're pushing out per day. So probably 2,500, maybe 3,000 cards are getting done per day. So it gives you an idea, you know, if everybody flocks them again now because PSA rose prices, Beckett's out of norm, they can't get in the HGAQ, are they going to be able to sustain again? That's really my, really one question there for them that would be. Um, I don't know. I just happened to look at it and catch it, and this is where you guys are looking at. So $25 for a card under uh, 500 bucks. So they're pretty much on par with what PSA's charging. Grand, they say 20 to 25 estimated business days. But we all know that they said at one time they shot the 90 business days, which my orders were in 100 business days during that time frame that I got back. Uh, I mean, I know they want their money up front. Do you like, and this is questions for everybody on there. It's not a hit against SGC or not. Do you like paying your money up front and then having to wait if they had to do another 100-day estimated turnaround? Or do you like waiting to your grades so you see it moving down a chain like, uh, uh got to get ready to go pay that. It's an assembly now, you know, something like that there. I'm just curious. I know there's a lot of people that will love SGC. They they talk about mostly because of the vintage and stuff like that being graded back in a day. But with them now raising prices to what you see here on the screen, are you going to still submit to them? Are you now going to start second-guessing and looking at other uh, areas out there, such as CGS, who is underneath uh, CGC? That's the ones that do the kind of like the Beckett's would have the subgrades on to it and stuff like that, but they're known mostly for their comic books back in a day. So I'm just curious on what everybody's reaction is on to SGC doing this. I figured it was they were going to do it just not this quick as PSA did fall in suit. I'm thinking they're going to start being like, well, we're probably going to get slammed again, so let's raise prices because we're going to have to hire more key personnel in order to keep up with the flow of things. So, yeah, I figure I touched base on this. Don't forget, you guys, we can hit it in chat tonight and everything. But I just wanted to see what some of the people's, you know, comments are on SGC doing this. Are they going to stick with it? You know, whatever your, your thoughts are on to it overall. So go ahead, fill up the comments onto you guys. know I read them. I do reply the best I can. I try to keep up with it. Sometimes I miss a few because it doesn't go into the queue that it needs to say, it's, hey, you need to respond to this. So don't get upset if I miss it because of that. But I try to hit everybody back with something. But other than that, I will see you guys about 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. If I'm a little late, it means I made it through the queue. <laughs>
But I should, I probably won't make it through the queue tonight, so I should see you then. We'll open a box of uh, the new plates and packages. I got one box of it. So, all right, guys. I will see you all tonight. Like I said, feel free to leave some comments on what you guys think of SGC, their new services and pricing. You know, and take a chance to go read that long uh, thing. And it's when you go to their homepage, just so you guys know where I want to, it says read the updates. It's real hard to see right here. Click it, and that's what you'll get right there, that big, long message there. All right, everybody, take care. Have a good one. I'll see you all tonight.